Mountie, you, you lost all seven of your break points on your serve. What, what technically went wrong today? Um, well, everything was really, I think, for her today. She was hitting every line on the court. She was serving really well. Um, and I definitely didn't think I played my best tennis, but she came out like firing and um, really played some good tennis today. So she deserved to win. How much was the heat an issue for you out there? Um, I didn't think, I mean, the match wasn't that long, so I didn't think it was that much of an issue. When you were down to the three in the first, you called your coach to the court. What did he tell you? Um, he told me to relax and try to make the points longer because um, she just started off just trying to attack everything um, and hit the corners off the back, so I needed to try to um, keep the points longer and not go for too much. As much as you try to keep points long, do you think you can ever get sucked into being too defensive out there? I saw in the stats you only had one winner. Yeah, well today it was pretty hard for me to hit a winner when um, she was being so aggressive so quickly. And normally, like when I play, I'm used to hitting a lot of winners, so that definitely was against me today. I, it kind of started going so fast, and um, she just started, she wasn't missing, and and I was missing because then I tried to go for too much and um, just wasn't in a good day. Do you, do you feel a little bit extra pressure uh, this year just because of how well you did at the Open last year? Uh, I looked up the, the record this year and I mean, first and second round exits in the previous eight tournaments and I'm just kind of wondering maybe what part of that is, you know, you're young versus, you know, maybe feeling a little bit extra pressure to do well. Well, um, yeah, I definitely feel a lot more pressure than last year. I mean almost every single person in the United States expects me to win every single match I play. Sure. So, I mean, that's kind of a little bit of pressure. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, last year I was like the new kid in town and you really don't have like any pressure when that happens. But when people start knowing you and, and they start getting to know your game and everything, I think they start figuring out a little bit. And the fact that I've had so much stuff besides tennis like I've had so much media stuff and all kinds of stuff because of the fact that I'm like the new American coming up mm -hmm. and said so well last year that I've been so much stuff I really just want to get back and focus just on One today, earlier, a match for yours. Um, would having another young American up-and-comer help you in terms of taking away some of the yes, spotlight for you? definitely. I'm hoping <laughs> that her and Coco and all of them do amazing because <laughs> Then people will start looking at them too, and you know, start cheering for them, and I and take like some of the attention. They can take some of the night matches from me, and um, and all that stuff. So, but I really, I know they've been playing really well lately. So, I'm hoping that that's gonna happen. What specific things in Vasnina's game maybe bothers you? The result was pretty similar to your match in Palm Beach, Beach. It was a different surface. Right. Um, she has a good serve. I think uh, mixed up really well. I mean, she can hit any corner. Um, so that was tough to read. And then uh, she's just a big first striker. And it was hard for me to, even when I got the ball deep, she kept it deeper today. I mean, she did everything better than me today. So. And then what, you know, from a positive standpoint, is there anything that you did today that you liked and that you may want to improve on or, you know, that? Oh, um, well, the thing is I've been playing like really well in practice. And even in the past couple weeks, I mean, I lost to Stozier and Azarenka. Right. And Azarenka right. won Stanford. So, I mean, and Stozier's top five in the world. So, I didn't really have, like, bad losses. And I wouldn't call today, like, a bad loss. I mean, Vizina is a really good player. And um, past times I've played her, every, like, after the match, she's gone, like, you know, said, like, sorry, like, I played really well today. Like, she's played really, really good tennis the past time. So, she was a better player. Last night, Anna Ivanovich mentioned that because she was unseated, she tended to get more difficult draws. Do you think that maybe is affecting you as well? I mean, from... Um, well, I mean, for me, like, everything's, like, so much different this year because last year I played qualies and everything, and then all of a sudden this year I'm in the main draw of everything. So the players I was playing last year were, like, 150, and now I'm playing top 50 all okay. the time. So it's a lot different. You play smaller tournaments after the U.S. Open, like Quebec City or something like that, to get some wins under your belt? Yeah, I am planning on playing Quebec City because um, I'm trying to get my match count up. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I have to be careful on, like, traveling a lot. But I feel good and I'm healthy and not injured or anything. So um, I think it's going to be good for me to try to play a lot until the end of the year. U.S. Open's 
less than a month away now. Yeah. You had so much hype there, obviously, last year. What What are you expecting the hype and tension to be like in 2010? Well, I'm hoping that it won't be that bad, but I have a feeling that it's going to be. Um, I mean, because of last year, I think people are going to hope or expect that I can do it again. And um, the thing for me is this year, I'm just going to try to go into it like I did last year. And that's why I did so well, was I had really, like, no expectations. I mean, I saw my draw before the tournament, and my coach looked at me and goes, to win the US Open, you have to beat, like, six Russians and a Williams sister. <laughs> so, I mean, it was, like, a joke. I mean, playing, you know, Dementieva and then Sharapova, people I've, like, looked up to for so long, and being able to beat them was um, was amazing because I, I had no pressure on me, and I just went for it. So that's what I need to do this year again. What's been the biggest adjustment for you uh, from last year this year? Obviously, you're playing higher quality players, but I mean, you know, travel. You know, what 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 has been maybe two or three of the biggest changes or adjustments you've had to make that's been tough? Probably, um, I mean, the traveling's a lot, but also a lot of the extra stuff besides tennis Media that I didn't stuff. have last year. Yeah, and like photo shoots and, and all kinds of stuff like that has been a lot more than last year. And then the traveling has been a lot, but I don't mind it. During Washington last week, and he's already talking about how he's really sick of talking about the Wimbledon match, um, and how it's just you know sort of everyone wants to stop talking about that. Do you feel? Can you relate? Do you have similar fatigue talking about your U.S. Open? Yes, run? yes, I feel. I mean, it's like everyone would ask me in my press conference after I lost in Wimbledon, and even the, the French, they kept saying, "Oh yeah, so how did it feel to beat all that, get to the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open?" And I'm like. Are we at Wimbledon? Like, are we at the French Open? Like, why are you talking about the U.S. Open when that was almost a year ago? And now it's exactly a year ago, almost. So, um, I'm looking forward to not talking about it anymore. Sure.